Yep, I'm recording these in the kitchen. Yeah, and I love the backlight uh, backlight effect here. This is actually just the kitchen. So, yeah. Um, all right, I've got a lot of stuff to do here. So I'm just going to go with the shorter videos because it's easier for me. So, yeah, this I actually had on my watch later. It's very private. If you see here, you can't see it. Uh, it's like John Cena. You can't really see it. And now I realize why a lot of people love the John Cena meme. Damn. Alright, so this is a new movie uh, called Let Us In. I know nothing about this movie. I'm looking at here. Uh, a rash of teenagers go miss... A rash. That, that has a double meaning, I think, now. Because the last time I've heard of rashes... Uh, I'm not going to mention it because I don't want to get too graphic. Okay, apparently this movie stars Tobin Bell, right? A group of teenagers go missing in the small town and one ostracized 12-year-old and her best friend step in to figure out what's going on. I know nothing about this movie. I'll do some research on it later. This will be quicker than most of my videos. So this is Let Us In, exclusive trailer number one. Last time I heard of a movie similarly titled like this, um, Let the Right, Let the right One In, and then the remake, the American, the English language remake, Let Me In. Uh, just to give you a heads up. Hold on. I'm going to just show you what I'm how this title sounds so familiar to me. Let the right one. Here it is. Let the right one in. Um, yeah, and look. See, 7, 9 out of 10, 9, 8. Uh, a Swedish romantic horror film directed by... Oh, Thomas Alfredson. I, I do know him. Thomas Alfredson, the, the guy who directed, uh, if I remember correctly, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. That movie was amazing. I love Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. And uh, when I go home, all right, I'm going to click the home button. And then year, two years later, I remember, let me, yeah, let me in, which was um, directed by Matt Reeves. And, um, let's see, uh, let's see, Chloe Grace Moretz, uh, Cody Smith-McPhee, uh, Dylan Minnette, and Richard Jenkins. And look here, the upcoming director of The Batman, Matt Reeves. And I'm looking at it here, um, so it got a 7, 1 out of 10 and an 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, so it's probably one of those better horror movie remakes. There are so many horror movies, like, when it comes to horror movies, I will say... It is my least favorite genre. I know, I know what you're all going to say. The problem is, I do like horror movies from the past. So say like your Texas Chainsaw Massacres, your originals, your Nightmares on Elm Street, uh, the Friday the 13th, and, you know, those original movies. And over the years, they kept making sequels, and it was like... the. Okay, for me, as far as Friday the 13th goes, um, I do remember I like the original film. I like Jason Lives. And screw it, I'm going to say it. I like the Platinum Dunes remake. I like the Michael Bay produced remake. I don't care. It's one of the better movies under Platinum Dunes, in my opinion. Much like, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one of the better horror remakes. Amityville Horror, one of the better horror remakes in my eyes. It's just the problem is every horror movie... Even the ones I like sometimes can rely on cliches, and it, it really, I mean, then again, you're talking to someone like me. I actually enjoy The Skeleton Key, you know, but that's a different story, because, yeah. But, like, I remember last year seeing very horrible films. Uh, I saw The Grudge remake last year. Not a good film, in my opinion. And, uh, what was the one? The Sonata, the one that had, yeah, that was the one, the one that had Rugger Hauer, and it was so boring. Point is, I'm not a huge horror fan, but it depends. There are some good modern horror movies these days. It, for me, what matters is the creative, how creative it is, you know, like A Quiet Place, for example. It was very creative because it was something that had never been done before. Do a movie where it's just visual storytelling rather than, you know, Ugh, you know, words, you know, and I'm really excited to check out A Quiet Place Part 2. I, I really wanted to go see it in a theater, but sadly, I'm not properly vaccinated, and the theater isn't open where I'm at, so that means i got to wait 45 days for it to land on, um, 
Hold on a second. See, I told you this was going to be long. My mom's at the door, and uh, I'm going to go help her out quickly. Actually, it wasn't my mom. It was actually my, my uncle stopped by because, um, you know, he had something here. Anyway, I've been five minutes, and let's just get over with this. This is Let Us In. Apparently, it stars uh, Dick Saw. As far as Saw goes, the only one I truly think is a masterpiece is the first Saw movie. Two was good, not great, but still good. Three was like, okay, and then after that, it's like, yeah, it just gets progressively worse. Like, the new one, Spiral, I'm never going to see that one. I'm just really selective when it comes to horror movies. So, what's going on with the project? Hold on, let me uh, see if I can uh, put the picture up. Let's see, 1080p, good. It's, it's better because that way I get to see a better image. Okay. So, what's going on? on with the project hello it's me emily sparks coming to you from earth there's a reason why you're not the most liked girl at school <laughs> i just don't want to cross christopher's dreams of communicating with aliens emily we are so close to communicating with whatever is out there can you imagine what it's going to be uh, like so when it finally happens fiction. it's going to be lit or is it sci-fi horror if this is sci-fi horror like alien then yeah, like Alien is probably one of my favorite horror f science fiction and horror films. I love the original Alien film, masterpiece. Uh, Will you let us in? It happened in this town over 50 years ago when there was only one eyewitness, Frederick Munch. You mean me, Mr. Munch? His house is totally haunted. Tobin Bell. Dick saw himself. The black eyed kids. It's their harvest in time. So why do they ask? Here's what's going to happen. Ask you that question to let them in. Like, I know that actress. If I... So why do they ask you that question? I think I know her. I'll have to look to her up later. In. Because they have to. They need permission. Or whatever you do, never say yes. Sweet. The police will take care of it. Freeze! I want you to stay put. You guys don't understand. They're not a human. You don't know how they think. <laughs> you think you'll get out alive? It's my dog. She, she loves company. She loves me. Fun. It's a medicine thing. Let us in. That's right, it's a new movie that's coming up. Sadie Stanley, I think I recognized her. Craig Moss. Yeah, look. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna pause. Yeah, this is my dog. Her name is Mel, which is technically foreign for honey. It's Portuguese for honey. Hey, right, honey. She just took a shower today, so that's why I'm letting her do this. I never, she's always dirty. All right, go outside. It's just she showed up. So yeah, you get a special appearance from my dog because she loves me a lot. I have female dogs. I'm gonna actually look this movie up. All right, let us in. Film. Yeah. Um. God. Okay. Then I'm gonna. Okay, I can't see the Wikipedia page, so I'm gonna have to type. And Tobin Bell. Yeah. It's because I left the door open, and you know, sometimes. Let's see, is no. For, I'll be back in a second. All right. I put down a gate there, so... Yeah, Tobin Bell, John Kramer in the Saw franchise, Mississippi Burning. He's done, like, a lot of great films, Tobin Bell. He's such a great act, great character act. See, Tootsie, Mississippi Burning, Goodfellas, uh... Oh, cool! Like, look, The Firm, In the Line of Fire, Malice, The Quick and the Dead, that's such an underrated movie. He's, an, he's such a talented actor. Uh, Alright, so if I look up this filmography, I think I can find the movie. 
Where is it? Okay, so it doesn't have an IMDb. So it's only on IMDb because Wikipedia. But it's like I mentioned, Wikipedia can sometimes be unreliable. You know, this is the problem. All right, so I'm going to see here. Let us in. Um, Craig Moss. I know that. Do I know who Craig Moss is? Apparently, I wrote the screenplay too. Um, so, yeah, sci fi horror. It's what I thought. Yeah, exit page. Um, yeah, I'm going to click here and see what movies Craig Moss has directed. Or just to look through IMDb. No, through Wiki. No, it's it's loading. Let me click here. The, the internet, it's not on my side. Craig Moss, American film director. Uh, all right, so... I don't know, maybe it's because the thumbnail was interesting. I wanted to see it. Oh. Okay, I've, I'm now... Oh. Oh, God, no. Okay, well, now I can be scared. I think, uh, it's directed the 41 year old. Yeah. I'm not even going to bother naming it cause it's a terrible film. What the hell is breaking wind? See so directed, uh, badass, uh, the Danny Trejo movie. So he's directed all three. Only one of them was theatrically released. 30 nights of paranormal activity with the devil inside the, oh no. So he's mostly made parody films. They're all just loading. Yeah. Um, I did recognize that one actress, and then I was like, what's her name? And then it showed the face that it was, uh, let us out will be the audience's reactions. Them, let us in. No, the end. Damn, I thought this might have been a sequel to that vampire film, let me in. Me too. And suddenly, like the old man said, do you want to play a game? Bro, the title reminds me of that Eric Andre. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, there's a lot of weird things coming out. Meet the Blacks. Oh, God. Looks like they spent their whole budget just hiring Tobin Bell. Uh, so, yeah. This was interesting, to say the least. But even yeah, some of the films this guy's directed, it's like I probably must have lost faith. Uh... I'm just checking because, yeah, look, my internet, yeah, T on IMDb. I do remember seeing a clip of Badass. I think it was on FX or something. I can't remember where it was. So, yeah, one decent film so far, and it's Badass, the Danny Trejo movie. I like Charles S. Dutton and Ron Perlman. I only ever saw the first one, you know, but I only really saw the movie because, one, Danny Trejo is a badass, and two, Danny Trejo is a badass. It's like, if I had a third reason, I would say Danger is a bad, badass. 911 Nightmare 5 1. So I'm starting to get scared now. Nightmare Nurse, this must be horrible. I'm betting money, this is like the lowest rated anything. 4 7. Uh, the Charnel House. So, uh, yeah. But a lot of the films are like direct to DVD because like Badass is probably the only decent film this director has made. You know, I know when a certain high pro, yeah, four four. So yeah, I was really. I think I'm now scared. If your only decent film was the first, uh, Badass with Danny Trejo, yeah, uh, Sadie Stanley. If I click this here. <sighs> Internet, why you know work? Internet EXE has stopped working. That's what everything has to be nowadays. Oh man, I've gone 14 minutes. This is... Oh wait. Yeah, it's slow. Encoding overloaded, oh my god. I hate it when this happens. It's all because of this. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna really read the the the, the comments are probably the most interesting thing so far. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got Tobin Bell, but.